What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your clutch cover on your motorized bike so that, you know, your motorized bicycle engine looks kind of like a race engine. So what I'm talking about is down here at your clutch cover, it looks pretty plain, it's just a black cover. What we're going to be doing is we're going to customize it by drilling a gigantic hole here and that will allow you to see your um, clutch pressure plate when it's turning around. Uh, when you're idling your motor, let's say, you're going to see that turning around. And when your bike's standing back like this, um, it's going to look really cool. So there's a few things that could go wrong when you do this. Your clutch could slip after. What I recommend doing is drilling some drainage holes so the water gets out. And if you really um, feel ambitious, go ahead and put a piece of plexiglass over the, you know, the hole there so that no water gets in. With all that being said, let's get into the install. So the first step of our process is to take a 5mm Allen and remove our clutch cover. Now you can see my bike is rocking a little bit, that's because it's on a double kickstand, so that's why it's moving. But we're going to get these clutch bolts out of here, and yeah. You can see, uh, like I said, I think if we put those drain holes in it, we shouldn't have any issues with the clutch slipping. I just thought it was a really cool look because this bike overall is a really cool, um, you know, has a really cool paint job and the motor sweep. But it just, without the high compression head, this side is kind of empty. So I'm hoping I can fix it because the other side has the exhaust, it has the larger panel on the other side. So it just looks really cool. But this side's kind of plain, so I'm hoping I can change that in this video. Uh, one thing to mention is you can really easily rip your clutch gasket. Obviously, if you're drilling a hole in the side, it probably doesn't matter. Now, you can see there is some grease on my clutch cover, so I'll probably clean that off. And some of the pressure plate, that's completely normal. I accidentally over-greased it. It's quite normal to do, actually. But, uh, yeah, that's how to get it off. Alright, so now we got the clutch cover on the bench. What we're going to go ahead and do is use this hole saw to uh, drill our hole in the clutch cover, but before we do so, we have to mark it up. Alright, so as you can see, I went ahead and got a little bit of marker on there, and you can do this by eye, which I did, uh, because this isn't a square object, as you can tell. There's no real true way of centering it. You could draw some grid lines. Uh, I've learned it in Tech Ed. You can draw a grid line and then find center that way, or you can just eyeball it like I did. Both ways will work. Alright, so as you can see, I've got the clutch cover and the vise. Now, what I recommend doing whenever you're drilling anything into metal is to use a thing called a pilot uh, drill bit. Basically, it's just a really small drill bit that allows you to get that hole started, and then you can take your big uh, hole saw and drill the hole. Now, I'm going to be honest with all of you guys. I'm kind of nervous of doing this because it's a brand new motor, and, you know, I've never done this mod before. So we're going to be doing it together, and I'm not going to cut anything out if anything goes wrong. That way you guys will know before me. So, uh, yeah. We're just going to see what happens. So you can see I've got my drill bit in. A little tip that I like to do, it's not necessary, is go in your torque setting and give it a couple clicks. That'll make it so that the drill bit doesn't uh, slip on you. So make sure you get your hole nice and center, and we're going to start drilling. Now when you're drilling something like this, you want to start real slow because it's only aluminum. Uh, you don't want to go fast, it'll skip. Make sure you're on center. Uh, drill press will work really good for this. And uh, I do have a drill press, but I think it's better to do it this way. Just because, you know, most of you guys aren't going to have a drill press, so just keep that in mind. As you can see, we've got our hole in it. Um, so now it's time to use this. So uh, I'm going to cut to that in real quick. Alright guys, here comes the scary part. We're going to be drilling the, uh, the hole. So I noticed when I was doing the drilling process, uh, the drill kept kicking back and it was really scary. So make sure you're really holding on to it as you're doing it. And this thing, like I said, it's drilling through aluminum, so it's going to randomly kick back on you. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed some earmuffs, as you can see, because it was making so much squealing. You could use WD-40, but it's never going to go away. So 
So at first the hole looks a little bit jagged, but it's nothing that a file and a Dremel can't fix. Most likely you guys just saw that process in the time lapse, but that was not smooth at all. Uh, the drill kept moving and everything, so if my vise was bigger, I would 100% use the drill press. Uh, this got the job done though, you could have done it. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just take a hand file and file down these sharp edges you can see on the aluminum there uh, to get this thing looking sweet. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and file the clutch cover down. So this is my first time doing this, so you guys are going to see it uh, along the way. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I mean, the clutch cover looks pretty good. We just got to clean it up. Uh, I'll put a couple drainage holes in it and we'll call it a day. So the last part of the process is to use a 1 8 inch drill bit to drill a couple drainage holes down here at the clutch cover on the underside of it. Make sure you do it on the underside and we'll be good to go. So guys, as you can see, I got my two drainage holes drilled through. Again, just a 1 8 inch drill bit. But time for the big reveal. Let's put it on the bike. So that looks pretty cool and I think it's going to give the motor a nice look. Let's bolt it up for real and give it a once over. So in my opinion, I think this thing looks awesome. I'll bolt it up. It is slightly off centered if you really get close to it. But from afar, it looks super cool and I recommend this mod to anybody trying to do it. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and to catch you guys next video in peace and wonderful day as always.